There's a reason Apple hasn't changed the MacBook Air's core design for years now. It's basically perfect, the epitome of a thin and light laptop, from its luxurious razor-thin exterior to its majestic trackpad. But now that Windows companies like HP and Dell are actually catching up to Apple, Apple basically went all in and redesigned the MacBook Air from the ground up. So today Apple unveiled a new 12-inch MacBook that's a radical revamp that shakes up the winning MBA design by dumping virtually every conventional port – Thunderbolt, the SD card slot, a power connector, everything – in favor of a single USB Type-C connection and then also an audio jack. Paired with numerous other advances, the new 12-inch MacBook becomes the slimmest, lightest MacBook ever, and then it's also silent as well. The overhaul slims the notebook down to a ridiculous 2 pounds and 13.1 millimeters in thickness, which is actually the slimmest MacBook by a full 24%, and that's with a full fanless design. The display on the 12-inch MacBook, which packs a Retina class 2304 by 1440 resolution, now reaches edge to edge with barely there bezels. It measures 0.8 millimeters thin and uses 30% less energy than other Retina displays, while still offering the same level of brightness. The keyboard now goes edge to edge, sporting closer together keys than the MacBook Air's counterparts. Apple actually created a new keyboard switch for the 12-inch MacBook to replace the scissor switches that power most laptop keyboards. The MacBook also introduces a new force touch trackpad which is covered in glass like Apple's previous models, but sports four force sensors under the hood to create a uniform tapping feel. Together with the introduction of a taptic engine, similar to what you find in the Apple Watch, the 12-inch MacBook introduces the idea of light and force clicks. The laptop registers a new class of deep clicks that it uses to automatically open certain programs depending on where you click. Force clicking on a word in Safari, for example, opens a Wikipedia entry for it, while force clicking a date opens a calendar entry. One of Intel's new energy-efficient Core M Broadwell processors powers the 12-inch MacBook, which ships in a mere 5 watts of power and runs at 1.1 GHz that can turbo boost to 2.9 GHz when more power is needed. Around the Force Touch trackpad and its logic board, Apple crammed the 12-inch MacBook with batteries using new layered terraced battery design that lets the company use all available space inside the unibody chassis. The 12-inch MacBook will get 9 hours battery life while web surfing, or 10 hours while watching video. Now, the Spartan redesign wouldn't have been possible without the cutting-edge USB 3.1 standard and the new Type-C connection. It's a really powerful port that's capable of delivering 100 watts of power as well as 10 gigabytes per second data transfer speeds, which is actually twice that of USB 3.0. Now, obviously, the downside to slimming the laptop down this much is that you're going to need a lot of adapter cables to reproduce the lost functionality of the originals. Apple's embraced the new USB tech, but the legion of external peripherals and displays currently available haven't. Connecting the Type-C cables to a wall socket or a display port equipped monitor will require adapters, and then you'll also need other adapters to connect to Thunderbolt, Ethernet, or other standard USB devices. Also, if you want to plug in multiple devices, you're going to need a hub for that. Overall, though, the new MacBook looks like a really amazing choice, and it's actually a fairly good deal for Apple. The $1,300 base model includes a 1.1 GHz dual-core processor, 8GB of RAM, and a 256GB solid-state drive. A $1,600 model will pack in a 1.2 GHz dual-core processor, and then 512GB of SSD. Even though the new 12-inch MacBook isn't officially a MacBook Air, it's definitely the best and thinnest notebook we've seen from Apple in a long time. But give me your opinions on it in the comments below, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you're excited for Apple's latest notebook, and I will see you next time.